Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew mm -hmm. and books. <laughs> books about homebrew. Books about homebrew, about books. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so we have a very special, very different type of show tonight very where exciting. it's focused on kind of one theme, one mm -hmm. person, one you know, strain of things. And it's all about uh, movie adaptions into video games. And we're going to be playing three games that were adapted from uh, three different movies by the same person. That's very cool. And this was suggested <laughs> by Arena Foot. Yeah. Uh, this whole theme and this whole night, and it all ties together, and you'll see how. Mm. Um, so, welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in live, if you are. And um, yeah, games tonight are Dead of Night from 2013 by Jason Santucci, uh, also known as Gemini Tronic, mm -hmm. and Joe Grisafi, also known as Hamburger Man mm -hmm. on Atari Age Farms. Cool. Um, so all three of these games are made by those people, so I'm not yeah. going to say their names three times each. Okay. Um, we're also going to be playing Conjoined yep. uh, from 2015, and also Laughing Boy from 2015, uh, which is a work in progress, all made by the same people. Mm. And those are the names of the movies as well. Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome. Slobu says me, so I assume he's Slobu, one of the... Uh... Uh, doesn't really match up with any of those names, so <laughs> you might have to reveal yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you're either Joe Grisafi or you're Jason Santucci. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini Tronic. Gemini Tronic. So. Welcome, we Jason. Go. Welcome, Gemini. It's not... I, I, always say Gem, I always say Gemini, but it's Gemintronic, because there is no second eye. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. So let's get it right. Yeah. Yeah. It all ties together more than the watchers know. <laughs> yes. And all will be revealed. Yeah. Um, so I want to thank all of our Twitch subscribers who are supporting the show. You can tell them by their little symbols beside their names. Mm -hmm. uh, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Chuck, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Glenn Main, Gray Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Jansel NL, John Initro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Packrat VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Lake, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice Rare Esmeralda 2008, The D Train 37, Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. And you can see all the names mm -hmm. down the side there, mm -hmm. possibly. Yep, they're mm -hmm. there. Lots of names. Jason is Slowboo. Yes, welcome Slowboo. Welcome also Arena Foot, who is going to play a part tonight because we'll also be looking at his new book. Mm -hmm. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume be, 4. You must be so proud, Arena Foot. <laughs> oh, he's, he's on it's a roll. It's a lot of work. It yeah. is a lot of work, and, and he does put a lot of work into his books. Mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll take a look at that later as well. Um, so welcome to all the people watching live, Spindly1970, Slow Boo, who is uh, Gem and Tronic, Jason Santucci, Arena Foot, who is also Brian Mather. Yes. Uh, let's see, Leo, uh, Leo C. Santi. Um, oh, it's moving, it's yeah. moving. Dan ABC, Yars Revenge fan. Welcome, Yars Revenge fan. Esther Mears, 2008, Metal Atari 1969, The D Train, 37, Tile Style, Welcome. That's a new name. No, we've no. seen it before. Welcome again. <laughs> Carl yep. G. Packrat VG. S. Ramirez. S. Ramirez. Uh, Jared Gray West. Oh, good. Al the third. Today. Dedicated lurking. Nine to five. RC seven E. Phil. Ground Trooper. So many names. So many names. Thank you so oh, much. And thank you, Nathan Strum, for resubscribing and Yay. fixing my Atari twenty six hundred. <laughs> RGB. <laughs> Subscribe for fourteen month currently on a seven month streak excellent you're awesome yes and i meant to put in and i will next time if i have time you can get little like pop-ups that come on the screen whenever somebody subscribes and it says blah subscribe oh yeah blah yeah, gave yeah, yeah, bits yeah. and i want to put that on because we, we're getting some during the stream now so yeah it'd be nice to have that pop up yeah but i usually say thank you when, when they do that so um, it's, it's not fixed. It's not fixed. We'll, we'll get into that <laughs> yeah. for fixing yes. in the process. It's in the process. It's in the process. Yes. Yeah. People got yes. very excited. when He's, he's well on his way. He's getting there. 
Um, and you can support yeah. the show as well and subscribe for free uh, mm -hmm. if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and you can get little symbols beside your name like Captain Classic with the glowing golden Z six month badge yeah that's coming okay um also be sure to make you sure you follow and subscribe and click like on all the things youtube twitch facebook instagram uh mail news and feedback i do want to thank once again uh everybody for watching us stream the tar this show mm. over for over two years now mm. um more and more people are watching live and watching in the archives on youtube and I just want to update the numbers because we hit another kind of little milestone. Oh, really? These are numbers from two days ago. I'm sure they're maybe up a little bit more. Mm. Um, the pillow is dope. It's zero page <laughs> homebrew pillow. <laughs> it's squishy. Yeah. And you can get stuff like that on T Public. So go there if you want T-shirts, which we still haven't got. They haven't. We moved. ordered. They haven't given them to us, but they other people have gotten them. So <laughs> they haven't moved in two weeks. The they're stuck at the border. Sitting somewhere. at the border. Yeah. They're still in the U.S. Yeah. It's crazy. But we did get the mugs. Hold on. Okay. Where's the cat too? Um, Sorry. So we have 462 Twitch followers with 36 subscribers. Most ever we went down a little bit. So <laughs> some people haven't resubscribed. I think Nathan Nathan Strum just resubscribed. Yes, his name was not on the list. So there's the mugs that mug. you can get at Tee Public, and, and the zero page cat pillow, cat and mug. the pillow, and there's there we go. other things. And we'll be looking at some people who just got their t-shirts as well a little oh, bit later. Oh, nice, excellent. Some more pictures. Some people are getting their t-shirts. We'll be last. So far, <laughs> we will be the last. We're going to be last. Which is very, very funny. Oh well. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 462 Twitch followers with uh, 36 subscribers. Uh, 583 Whoa. subscribers on YouTube. Very good. And 750 followers on Facebook. That's very good. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I never thought we'd get that many people. <laughs> I didn't think this this community was that big. Like, I knew it was it was fairly sizable, but to have that many people follow the show as well, as well. Is, is really really, really nice. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um. So in celebration of that, I've uploaded two emotes. For Twitch. Yes. They're Atari and Pixel Cats. And you can go down and click on the little smiley face down there. And and under zero page, there's two little cats. There they are. Two little pixel cats. One is a pixel, a pixel pixel, and one's an Atari pixel. So you can uh, use those and put them up on the screen. And I think they're only allowed for subscribers. Possibly. So uh, I don't know how that works. There yeah! the train. There we go. There's a pixel with a tail up. Yeah. <laughs> and you can if you click on it, you see a bigger picture of it. Yeah. It's very, nice. very cool. Very yeah. cool. So those are fun. Yeah. Um and I'll upload some more because I have some more spots um for more. Oh, yeah. Dan ABC did it too. Yeah. That's an Atari sleeping. <laughs> sleeping Atari. He has his eyes closed. Yes. I have ones with his eyes open, but I like it with them closed. I like them with it, yeah. Because he's sleeping most He's of the sleeping time. most of the time and purring yeah <laughs> um so I'll, I'll make some more of those later oh mm. people are liking them there you go so whenever you see the cat come make sure you put the little little <laughs> yes, icon yeah. of which cat and yes. it matches up i don't know yeah i don't know where they are right now so uh big news brian matherin's new book mm -hmm. has been released it's available now today um on amazon mm -hmm. in um physical form or on kindle is that their thing kindle right Amazon Kindle. Kindle, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to paste the uh, links right now um, so you can uh, grab those. We're going to talk a lot more about that later, um, but uh, I just wanted to put those out now. Here's the links for Canada and U.S. I don't know how many people are in Canada that watch this. Maybe one. Most of the people are in the U.S. or Europe. Yeah. Um, but we're going to go into that later. It is the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, Volume 4. Is that the same one twice? Here is Volume. No. Oh, it is. Well, that's no good. Some, <laughs> there you go. There's the main There's link the main for the one. dot com. Yeah. Somebody did uh, link it earlier, so let me just steal that one. Oh, that's got affiliate links. Well, we don't want that. <laughs> we want uh, a shorter one there we go so those are both Canadian there's the American one which most of you will use there we go mm. you don't have zero page homebrew emotes yeah. 
What it is, did say tier one, but I don't know. They should be available for all the subscribers. Subscribers, yeah. Someone did point out it is just subscribers right now, but yeah. Uh, hmm. When you click on it, it says tier one sub emote, hmm. and huh, I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. You'll have to figure it out. Yeah. No idea. Oh no! Yeah, weird. Weird, weird, weird. So Arena Foot says 13 mm. countries for Kindle ebook version. So they're available in a lot of places. Um, chapter 6 and 6B of Nathan Strum's repair on my uh, RGB. Oh, yes. Light Sixer. Yep. Mod has been posted. Um, so let's just take a quick look at the uh, guts of my Atari and <laughs> the little pieces that uh, he's working with here. And we'll just take a quick look at what's been happening with it. No. F11. There we go. Nice. Full screen. Uh, boom. Boom. There. So now, the not quite penultimate chapter six, the new RGB mod kit arrived yesterday. So he's got all Excellent. the parts he needs. Yes. Okay, good. Um, so he goes through the parts and he explains what they are. What they're for, mm. we're, that's we're going to be adding um, a component output as well. Oh, okay. Good. Which is technically equivalent to an RGB mm. as well, but most TVs, well, some TVs have this input. Yeah. All zero have RGB. Yeah. Unless you're in Europe and then yeah. you have a SCART adapter for it. Yeah. Um, so I'll be able to plug it into TVs. Um, the Frame Meister also has component yep. in case. You know, something happens and the RBG, RGB, RGB doesn't, doesn't work. work. Yeah. So he's going to be adding to that to it. Um, there is the uh, new RGB output connector, um, which we'll get to in a bit. Here's him doing some soldering and putting things together and wrapping with wire. It's very fun read, especially people who like doing mods. Uh, he's putting more together, solder, solder, solder. And he's like, yeah, there's a lot of soldering. And it's like, yeah, we had to do a lot of soldering when uh, Darcy and I put it together. Yeah. And there's all the wires. Wow. Lots of wires are going to go into there. And that's without the joystick mod, which we're not doing because that means you have to have hanging wires yeah. or mod joysticks. Um, and that this um, is going to actually upgrade the system. So oh. we don't need this big, chunky, weird thing. Because how it is right now, it has audio output and an RGB without audio output. And then it goes into this piece, which combines them together and then sends it onward, which oh. was always weird, I thought. So we figured out a way that you can bypass all of these parts and it just goes like that. Mm. So it'll combine the audio and the RGB inside. Oh, that's much the better. The Atari. Yeah, so you're not... And this was so unwieldy. It was yeah. just taking up so much space. Interesting, yeah. And there we go. So that's, I think, the last post of that. Let me just make sure. Yep, that's it. So um, follow along with that if you mm -hmm. like. It's in the club, the Zero Page Homebrew Club on Atari Age. If you want to um, follow along with the repairs and see what's going on. So... Another thank you to Nathan Strum for doing all of that. And thank you to Al Nefer who just subscribed. Hype train incoming. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, okay. You have limited time. Oh, this is... Should I read this out? <laughs> I just... don't know if that's for us or what that is. Level one hype train. It's at 94%. <laughs> Sub gift or use bits to get to the next level. No idea. This is, yeah. Okay. I guess everybody sees that. Yeah. Those people are saying hype train. It's yeah. probably because we had two, three subscribers in like Maybe. the show. I, I don't know. I don't what, know. What does hype train do for you? The 2600 itself is fixed. That is true. He, yes. is, he has got my 2600 working, mm. which is awesome. And it's like the baseline. Whoa, there we go. Hype. <laughs> did we get to 100? We did. <laughs> and what does that give us? <laughs> Anyone know? Level 1 complete. Yay. Yay. <laughs> it's so exciting. Oh, and now it's like... Oh, you're back it. down to zero. See, what is that? It just makes you ask for more. I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's got a down arrow. You have to give us all punch and pie. <laughs> oh, there's like little icons and oh, whatever. Oh, okay. whatever. I have no idea. Yeah. Um... <laughs> 
everybody else can and i can't get rid of it now look it's taking up valuable screen space <laughs> yes you get to pick what kind of pie <laughs> yeah uh, i was gonna say on the next episode of old people on twitch <laughs> what what is this thing <laughs> um so two new homebrew patches are coming out mm -hmm. um one for checkers and one for boxing homebrew oh cool okay uh, they're actually it's not homebrew pat they're homebrew patches but for activision games so people are making these patches for, for old activision. games oh, that never neat. got the pa patches before yeah um so uh they're called checkers champs and knockout kings because they always had funny names for them right yeah um and you're able to order them now they're i'm not sure how long they're going to be going for um so i'll post that in the chat here because i should be doing more of this i um ordered one of both mm. um but actually there's more to it than this um uh so checkers and boxing uh machine posted this checkers and boxing he's the same person who did the the fishing one and the you suck badge and nathan strom actually wrote the letters for those oh yeah 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 They're all ties together. yeah yeah i like the you suck um, badge <laughs> yeah and i have them Oh, yeah. Roger Poco. Wow, thanks for the mention. We worked hard on the patches. I hope everyone enjoys them. There they are. Yeah. There's his old patches. Oh. The other one, new ones are not ready yet. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. still have them handy. So there is... Oh, I can't see that. Let's see if everybody else... Uh, yep, yeah, Fishing Derby one. Yep. Um, because it never had a patch. Yeah. And the You Suck. Yeah, which I love. Patch, which is super <laughs> cool. And you get a, a letter written by Nathan Strom saying... You failed at every Activision <laughs> patch. You, sounds, you're doing terrible. Like... Don't burn yourself when you use the iron. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, oh, you only did the su uh, you suck patch letter. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I, there wasn't a letter for the fishing, fishing derby, derby, as no. far as I know. No. Uh, I think I just got two letters of you suck. Yeah. Um, they're really, they're really, really cool. Um, so it says, Roger Poco and I have made up two new Activision patches to help fill the void in the Activision VCS lineup. Mm -hmm. You can order both patches from Roger Poco or myself. They look great. $5 each. PM either of us to grab a patch before they're gone. Mm -hmm. And somehow, oh, I ordered, I ordered them. And mm -hmm. then we started talking and he said, hey, you want to do the letters? And I said, yeah, I can do the letters. <laughs> I, I know how to do Photoshop. Yeah. And so I've already <laughs> replicated the letters. Oh, perfectly from an old one. Oh, nice. And now I just have to write the text nice. for it for each nice. one of those. Mm. So if you get one of the letters, it's from me. There you go. Even though I won't say it's from me. <laughs> just like Nathan Strums doesn't say it's from Nathan Strum. Nice. Um, but uh, they look really good. And the oh, those other patches look really good. So I'm they're going to be the same yeah, level of quality. Very cool. Yeah. Are you putting them on a cool jean jacket? No. You should. Because then uh, they're ruined forever. Because they're all ironed on. Yeah, Glad to get you involved, Roger Poco. Well, thank you for making the patches. They look awesome. And uh, we all have to support each other. Mm. And I'll help make things awesome in the community. Um, there's a work in progress tool called Atari Sound Forger by K. Israel. Um, he said, I might be reinventing the wheel here, but I was craving a tool to make it easier to experiment with Atari sounds in a real-time way, so I made one. I'm about halfway to my ambition. So let's take a look at this tool. It's really cool, especially for musicians. It's an easy way to make music and track, do tracking as well on the Atari. Um, let me open that up, and uh, we'll be able to actually play it live here. So what he has got, he's got a, a layout mm. of the keyboard and the notes, and you can drop down with different sounds as well. So let's just turn that down just a little bit here. And then I'll let you guys hear it. I'll turn it way down first. That is still too loud. So it's like a peak volume. Maybe a little bit more. Sure. Let's do that. Um, so you can play the sounds with your keyboard. Okay. 
and you can pick the sounds as well. Very cool. And this one actually relates to uh, keys on the key on a piano. So. Sorry, I, I I have to choo choo. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, what uh, is it, a you, monkey? We got an emote, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so, you can play like a piano. Obviously some... Um, oh, neat. Notes are missing because the Atari's built-in sounds are... Not, not perfect? <laughs> they're not perfect, and they're missing a lot of things. Wow. Um, so, I remember us playing Pressure Cooker. And the story that went along with Pressure Cooker mm. was they went to a musician and said, these are the notes you can play. Make, <laughs> Make a song something. from only these notes. Funny. And they came up with a really good song. That's very cool. But the advancement of this one is that you can record it. So listen to this. That was probably way off time because it's really quiet here. So we'll stop the recording. And now it's it's actually tracked what I played. Mm. Yeah, it's a little off time. So <laughs> so it's really, really, really cool. Um, so if anybody, and you can pick lots of different sounds. It's got lots of really um, cool built-in sounds here. Mm -hmm. Reedy, rumble. These are all the built-in ones. Even kind of noises. But you can use those for percussion mm. as well. Uh, flangey wavering. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought that would be uh, really cool for people to check out. Mm. So your mm -hmm. next industrial music um, <laughs> album will be all based off Atari? All, yeah. all Atari gotcha. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Nice sounds. Yeah, there's some pretty decent sounds in there. Oh, yeah. Metal Lunar's putting them all to work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's got a train as his icon? What is that? Oh, he's the hype train conductor. Nice. Weird, 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 weird. <laughs> oh, look at all these things. Metal Lunar, 100. The games are 50. Cheer to take number three. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Gift a sub now to be number one. <laughs> they really want to push that. Yes. Um, so some more pictures have come in of people with their shirts and us without their nice. without shirts because <laughs> we, well, yeah. we just don't not, have not the us shirts. without shirts that that implies something different it does yeah, yeah. <laughs> um so let's take a look at the new shirts that people nice have. i'm excited to get t-shirts now like what's going on where's our shirts i want to know where our shirts are um so we saw that one already. yeah so this is Carl G and Kara. I love it. Oh, they got the cat ones. With their shirts. Nice. And the purple one looks really good. The purple's really, really nice. Stands with those out really colors. nicely. And there's yeah. the cats. Yeah. So the cats are a big hit. They're the best sellers so yeah. far. <laughs> yes. So I really Not like surprised. the purple. And I th I've liked all the colors so far. And yeah. I think I know I like why the they all work. Yeah. It's because there's a rainbow in there. Yeah. And it just kind of naturally like any color fits in the rainbow yeah 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 so it's i turned thought out really good that looks nice yeah and thank you for sending the uh the pictures over yeah, yeah. and here is daryl spice jr with his zero page zero page nice on blue i on like that too blue and yeah. he said it uh reminded him of the commodore 64 colors yes i was like yeah that's exactly right blue on blue yeah um, kind of a lighter blue, blue on, on a darker, darker blue. blue. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, except brown. Yeah. Brown's not good. <laughs> okay. Well, there's lots of ch colors to choose from. Yeah. Uh, we did, I think we got rid of some of the colors because they're like, those are terrible. I don't want to see our shirt in that color. I don't think we did really. I think um, no? you, you always have all the color options, but I think some of the... You can pick what shirts you you you'd let them pick. Oh, what type of shirts? And I think there were certain types of shirts that it just wouldn't work with, so we we omitted some of the options. But I think the colors are oh. always you always have all the colors, so you can pick whatever color you want, which is kind of neat. Ah, nice. And there's Daryl Spice Jr.'s mug yes, that he ordered. Very nice. Yeah. I'm very I'm very fond of the mugs. I've had oh, the few, mugs are really nice. I've had a few co coffees, and um, Tamara and Darcy ordered mugs as well. They did. So uh, Darcy, Tamara, if 
has been on the show, but that's yeah. um, uh, Darcy's spouse. Yeah, and she's they been on sent the show us, once. <laughs> yeah, once. Um, and she sent us photos with their no, mugs. They too. went live with us. They were live. Oh, they were live. On video That's right. Chat. Well, yeah, but we yeah. saw that they had them too, so that yeah. was very exciting. It was. So people are like, I love the mugs. Yeah. yeah. The mug will go well with my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Blue on blue, not good combinations. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the games today. Gr Joe Grisafi, um, who is mm. the director of the movies that these games are based on. Which is very on. cool. That's yes. very cool. Um, his IMDb has 11 credits as director, and he's a very prolific actor. He's been in. He's got 123 credits mm. as as an actor, and he's also producer and a bunch of other things as well. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're going to focus on director because these are his films that mm. were adapted, um, and he also wrote the foreword in Brian Mathern's new book. Nice. And that's how this all ties in together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, he's described in Brian's new book as. Joe Grisafi is an award-winning actor and director from Houston, Texas. His films include Conjoined, Dead of Night, Lars the Emo Kid, and Laughing Boy. Mm -hmm. Joe's films can be found on several streaming platforms, including Amazon and Roku, or on his site, starshipfilms.com. Mm -hmm. Joe is on Twitter and Instagram, at Joe Grisafi, G-R-I-S-A-F-F-I. -F -F um, so the three games we're going to be uh, looking at today mm -hmm. that were adapted from his three... Uh, from three of his films um laughing boy which is a film from 2000 mm -hmm. uh dead of night which is a film from 2010 mm -hmm. conjoined a film from 2013 cool. and those are the dates that they were first cool. released mm -hmm. um and uh how he ties into atari 2600 games is um i found in an interview in 2013 he says if i didn't work in film i would love to be working in the video game industry mm -hmm. Growing up, that's actually wanted, what I wanted to do, design video games. The filmmaking bug didn't bite me until I was in college. I am lucky to be able to make a living in film and commercial scene in Houston. Um, I don't know if Joe is in here yet or if he's planned to be in here or not. Don't know. Hopefully he can make it. Um, so I was doing some research on video games based on movies. Mm. Um, and everybody thinks the first video game that was based on a movie was Raiders of the Lost Ark for the Atari 2600. Okay. But it wasn't. It is actually a video game that predates it by four years. Wow. Three years? Four years. Wow. Um, in 1979, okay. um, there was a video game. I think they mean home video game. Um, it was Star Trek Phaser Strike. Oh. Um, a shoot 'em up video game by Milton Bradley in 1979, released for the Microvision, which is a handheld um, video game system where you slot in different things and it's just blocks moving around. Mm. Literally blocks. Um, Joe's the lead character in Laughing Boy, so the player sprite is Mini Me Him. <laughs> ah, nice. So we'll get some behind the scenes information. <laughs> <laughs> um, Superman. Um, Superman. So I have a list here of all the early games that were put out as well. Superman is an early game. Let me open that up. Uh, and we'll sort of by year. So in 1979 was Star Trek Phaser Strike. 82 had a bunch of games. Uh, Superman is not on that list. Oh, maybe it was Superman. When was Superman put out? Cause that, why isn't this, this list is totally incomplete. Totally yeah. incomplete. Wikipedia. Somebody better get on that. Oh, 1979, Superman. So, so around the same time then. Around the same time. Hmm. You'd have to go down to the exact date it was released. I yeah, think. and yeah. most of them don't have proper dates back then because nobody kept track of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, even up to the Nintendo era. People really didn't keep track of the exact dates no, it was put out. of releases and things like yeah. that. Especially the companies. If the companies didn't do it, they would know. So, is it Superman or is it the Star Trek mm. game? Because the Star Trek game says it's first. It was the first game ever released. Yeah. Superman wasn't based off the movie, though. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of the thing is... Yes, it, it, that's I mean, true. That's the problem with these comic book... Um, 
tie-ins. It's it's what is it yeah. actually based off of? Is but. the Spider-Man game based on a movie, or is it just based on Spider-Man? On the comic, yeah. Yeah, so that's the distinguishing factor. Yeah, I think like Raiders of the Lost Ark is is a Obviously, movie, and it yeah. started as a movie. Mm. Um, so I think that is the distinguishing thing mm. that it's not the actually based off a movie, um, because it would have to probably be released at the same time i know there's a lot of movie tie-in video games that are like oh they're released at the same time but don't have nothing to do with the yeah, movie that's true too yeah so it's kind of a wishy-washy yeah, kind of thing yeah. so who knows? Interesting. who knows oh getting joe to join now nice. excellent um and then et mm. um was another one that was released uh based off of a film as well uh, where is it? Uh, uh there we go so the first bunch of ones, uh, Alien from Fox Video Games, based oh. off of the movie. Yeah. Uh, E.T., e Rage of the Lost Ark, Those Star Wars. Those are all 82. 82, Empire Strikes Back, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow. And Tron wow. in 82. That, that was an epic couple of years of... Oh yeah, just, films. If all of those, yeah, I mean, I don't know if all those films Big. were released that year. They probably might have predated close. them, but they would have probably been eighty-one, close. eighty-two. Yeah. They try and wow. release them at the same time. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good year of films. Yeah. and then uh, eighty-three. Interesting. Dark Crystal, Halloween, James Bond, 007, Krull, Porky's, Re Return of the Jedi, Rocky, Super Action Boxing, Star Wars, and then it just keeps going. Then it gets crazy, crazy, crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, movie tie-ins have, um, video games based on movies have a, a reputation <laughs> yeah, for not being great, like just cobbled together. And I think that might yeah. have started with like E.T. and yeah. Raise the Lost Ark was very difficult to play because it's very hard and mm -hmm. things aren't even in the manual that you have to do. Like how, how you do Like them? you have to touch this pixel at oh, this geez. certain spot and it's yeah. not in the manual and it's like no clues. It's not flashing. Crazy, crazy. Um, and then I looked in um, Brian Mathern's list for homebrew based on movies. There's lots of unofficial ones. Mm. Lots of like, oh, we're going to change the sprites. They're mostly hacks. We're going to change the sprites to make it look like this. A movie that came out in 83 and the homebrew was made in, you know, 2005 or whatever. The only one I could actually find, other than the three we're playing was acid to your face is goo <laughs> and it's made by <laughs> jason santucci <laughs> nice. gemantronic so yeah. that may he may have cornered the market for homebrew based on movies nice. like officially yeah <laughs> so is is that is that true is that um is that based on a film and um authorized like an authorized one too it has to I be suppose, authorized i right? suppose yeah yeah Unauthorized uh, is more exciting. Though, it, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, Captain Classic says, yep, they usually suck. Best one I think back in the day was a DOS version of X-Wing by Lucas. Mm. A lot of the Star Wars ones were really good, actually. Really, really good. Yeah. Yep, one writing was made. Yeah. Were there any good games based on movies? Or any good movies? That's even worse. Even worse, yeah. Movies based on <sighs> games. I think whenever you adapt anything, and I'm not saying this about a, the games that were adapted from the movies, but I yep. think there's always a challenge if there's expectation yeah. surrounding what it's go going to be. This it's is going to be just like the movie. It's always hard. <laughs> right. So we, either people are disappointed it's not just like the movie, or they're, you know, they're disappointed because it it's strays too far. You know, like it's yeah. it's. Um, they're expecting it to be exactly the same, but of course, usually it can't be exactly the same, yeah. right? So, and also, yeah. movies based on video games. Some video games are very shallow. There's not much to yeah, them. Yeah. So, like, what do we have to work Depends on? Depends on the type of game it is, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's get into it. All right. I just wanted to see. Where Spend is enough. the cat? I don't want the cat. Hey, Spend please. enough time blabbing. I'm sure people are sick of us talking. Too bad. This is what you get. <laughs> a lot of explanation needed for today. Because it's not just playing games. There's there's background to it. Uh, so let's switch over to the 2600. There we go. So the first one is that we're going to be playing is not conjoined. That is incorrect. We're going to be playing Dead of Night because that's the first one he put out. There we go. Boom. Um, so we do have the instructions here. 
because I just have the binaries to these games. Oh, we've got an Atari cat. Everybody uh, put in your little symbols. You okay? You okay? Is he okay? Is I he hope happened? so. We'll see. There he is. He's ready to play. And here's the instructions. I'll read them out. Okay. So this is Dead of Night, uh, released in 2013 by Jason Santucci, Gemintronic, and Joe Grisafi, Hamburger Man. Um, it's a 16K F6 game. Oh, there's the Atari Cats! <laughs> Yay! Um, other games by Joe Grisafi, uh, Conjoined Dead of Night, Laughing Boy. Other games by Gemintronic. Catacombs of Chaos, Conjoined, Dead of Night, Laughing Boy, Rat Race, RVG Blast, RVG Blast 2, Up, Up Plus, Treasure of Tarman, Twister Shark, Up a Creek, The Walking Dead Plus, many, 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 many others. I'm not going to list them all because there's a million of them. <laughs> and uh, this game is available on cartridge. You didn't miss much. We're just about, well, you missed a lot, but <laughs> we're about to start the first game if that's what you care about. No, didn't miss anything. They're just blabbing. Um, so the plot of the film of Dead of Night from 2010, somebody is going medieval on Marla's friends, brutally killing them one by one. When she tries to tell people what's happening, a cursed medieval knight is on a rampage. No one believes her. I wouldn't either. Uh, she soon learns that she alone possesses the power to end the mayhem uh, in a family heirloom. The Amulet of Thorns. Mm. Um, and also, um, there's another adaption of this movie into a video oh, game. Oh, very cool. On the Vectrex. Yeah. So let's take a quick look at the Vectrex version mm. um, before we play ours. Uh, where'd the remote go? Lost it. Is, is it under an Atari? No, Probably. I don't think so. I don't think he was on anything. Oh, my goodness. I need that remote a lot. Do you have it, Kitten? There's a very good chance he does. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I didn't see him get on a remote, so... Oh, no. Found it. Got, Got it? it. Yeah. Watch out for the cat. Okay. All right. Oops. Possessed. Smelling errors. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look quickly at the other um, port. I guess port? Not really. Just another one based on the film. Mm. Uh, okay, so there we go. Coming 2016 to Vectrex. I'm not sure if this was fully released or. So Vectrex is always very cool mm. because it's all kind of vector-based, oh, wireframe. It's Vectrex. <laughs> yeah, it's Vectrex. It oh, I missed is. the whole thing. Oh. So there's a knight. Oh, <laughs> there's a knight. It's a ghost yep. or something. Oh, it's happened again. <laughs> <laughs> and he runs out, smacking his head. Dead at night. Mm. Okay, so just a little preview you get. Um, but I love That's the back trucks. Cool. I have two of them. They're awesome. Okay, so let's uh, close that down so I don't get confused when we come back. And <laughs> let's get into the game. Yay. I need a harmony card for my Vectrex. Well, it's called something else, but you do need that. Um, so you can play all these games. Okay, let's go down to today. Like, what day is it? Is, is it 24th? 24th, yeah. Um, so, Dead of Night. Yeah. And a DOK one two six bin. Ah, my ears. Starship mm -hmm. Films, Dead of Night. Lovely. Nice little Good graphic there. Me. Press fire. Zero points. Mm. No, I didn't say you press fire. Well, you. It says press fire. Because I haven't read anything about it yet. Okay. Well, you can wander around, not knowing what to do. Um, Hamburger Man first posted March 19th, 2013. Hi friends, I'm not a programmer, but I'm interested in producing a homebrew game for the Atari 2600. Possibly a game based on my little indie film, Dead of Night. Um, interested in talking to programmers and getting an idea of the costs involved. Your time programming, cost of physical production, and packaging. I would like to design the game. If you're interested in starting a conversation, etc, etc. And Jason sent 
Santucci replied on the same day, immediately. He says, do you have permission from Starship Films, Joe Grisafi, or Emilio Lascelio? And everybody, he's making a joke because he, <laughs> he put out his name. Um, so, uh, Rena Foote's notes, based on the film, uh, Dead of Night, an adventure type of game, previewed at the 2013 Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I think that's, I don't know what year we went first. So 2015 is the first year we went? Somewhere around there. I think so. So yeah. it's a little before our time. Um, and it was limited to 20 numbered copies. Um, so now I'll get to the instructions. Dead of Night gameplay script. Based off a movie by Starship Films. Plot summary. Sir Gaspare's cursed soul is possessed a jock undressing from a workout. <laughs> Queen Sophia induces him to slay four unknowing conduits for his lost virtues. Feigning obedience, our knight must then capture Maria and her coveted amulet. Only with Maria in tow can he be enter the mini putt castle to confront her majesty. Uh, use the first joystick to move. Don armor. Looks like you've got that. I found the armor. Sim and there was a, a person who ran away from me. Uh -huh. So I guess I was Simply by walking them. into it. Swing your sword left or right by halting movement and pressing fire to slay victims. Nice. So let's see that. Yeah, nice. There we go. Uh, capture Marla by making contact. So that's your next thing. Got to get Marla. In boss battle mode, you may f uh, move freely while attacking. Extended play mode is enabled by setting either difficulty switch. Toggle uh, the reset switch to restart the game. Press fire during the title screen. So there are some options. Uh, game over screen or in the introduction to continue. The three point health bar. So there's the red health bar at the bottom. I do have the map. I printed out the map. I just started and I'm wandering around. So, oh, but what am I? Okay, where we, am I going? We don't know where we're going anyway. No, yet. he hasn't yet. explained that yet. So I'm just wandering. <laughs> Try and find Marla. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone ran away from me, but I don't six know Six-digit scores went. located in the lower center. You've got zero. Uh, a high score is displayed on the title screen. If you need it, uh, help a shot of the filming location and trivia are provided below. Um, outside the gymnasium day, uh, head towards the southwest. Oh, this is like telling you exactly what to do let's not quite go there yet no, um, you don't want to tell me what to do <laughs> uh, this is like a script like it's exactly what you must do we'll get to that in a second okay um dramatis person person house golf course miniature so there's a bunch of people in the game well i'll tell you where to go next actually hmm. so outside gymnasium gymnasium day this is what you've already done Head towards the southwest corner of the map. No resistance should be met initially. No. Walk into the professor's house. Yep, that's and Reclaim I got it. your armor. I got it. Exit house downward. Yeah. Um, scene two. Outside professor's house. Day. Yeah. <laughs> Once armed, the knight must eliminate the professor, Truman, Walker, and Cynthia. So you've got four people to kill. Uh, the professor has uh, gray hair and brown pants. Okay. Um, it says, the Professor, give him a D-plus for death. <laughs> Located immediately outside his house. Did you kill anyone I yet? don't know if I killed him. I don't think I did. He ran away. So is is the game over? I don't know. He ran off. I haven't found him since. Go inside and outside again, then. I did. And outside? Yo. No. no. Go up. He did look like he was bleeding. <laughs> but I just, I, I'm not entirely sure if I killed him. No. I have no points, though. Uh, you probably didn't kill him then. <laughs> Maybe he's wandering around. Um, who else do you have to kill? Truman. Uh, Truman, more than clothes get removed at this club. Found outside to the very northeast. Yeah, I, but I went in there. I don't know. I did something wrong. See? Nothing in here. Okay. Don't see Truman anyway. Hmm. And Joe Grisafi has uh, joined us. Welcome, Joe. The game's not over. You need to find him somewhere in, uh, somewhere on the grid. So keep watch. See, keep looking. Mm. Um, That's what I figured. Walker as well. He just ran off. He ran away from His me. pining for a night on the town just ended. Night with a K. Uh, loaded, located top center of the map. And you need to also find Cynthia. Yeah, but you probably do them in order. Chivalry I'm is dead. She's next found in the very center of the map so you haven't encountered anyone since no i not since he ran off from me someone said uh 
Prof ran somewhere. It's okay to restart to try to get him as he's just uh, running out of the house. So if you're having trouble. So if you don't get them right away, you're screwed. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. I think that's the intro. Yeah, that's the intro. Because like, there's I four can't, ghosts. Can't actually go anywhere. Because that's, that's what happens. He, um, and then he's naked. Yep. He and is then, naked, actually. Where did I go? Because he's a jock undressing from a workout. Yeah, so I have to go Lower to the left. professor's house. Okay. And I need to kill. Um, yep. Successful sword strikes will be rewarded with 100 points. Yeah. yeah. That's Got him. one. Oh, oh, get it. Get it. Oh, that's a policeman. Oh. What? What? That is the patrolling officer. This guy walks the beat undefeated. Eventually starts shooting while dodging direct confrontation. So don't. Oh. What was that? Someone what do you look screaming like? and. I don't know, but I have to go to Truman's house, right? So. Yeah, don't bother trying to kill the... Kill, kill. Yeah, nice. okay. So that was... Marla... No. Let's see. No, Cynthia, I think. Can't kill the cop. Good to know, good yep. to know. So you've got two. Two more. So up all the way, then over, then down all the way, then up again, repeat. It might have been... It might have been Walker. Three, five, yep. Do, do, do. Ah, ah, oh, don't bother. Ah. There, kill, kill, kill. There we go. One more to go. One more? That was Truman. Ah! ah. Oh, run. Just run. Run away. Run away. Run away. There you go this guy's in the strip club go back there i know the strip club's at the very top wasn't that it no oh strip club is at the top three it's number three i think oh that's the golf course okay oh can't get in there yet oh maybe i killed that person then what was after that uh you need to find one more person yeah but where um, you, you described where it was the so the professor was right outside his house. Four? Um, what about the what about the cemetery? What is that? Found in the very center of the map, Cynthia. I don't think you've got <gasps> Cynthia. Ah, ah! This is like that big duck game. <laughs> yes. Instead of a duck. There, get her, get her. Okay, you've got all four. Have I? Yes. So, because you have four in the Apparently, points. oh. Ah, okay, just, ah, just ah. get to a screen where you're not bothered. I don't know if I can do that. There, you're good. Okay, don't... Ah, Why did you move? I oh. didn't mean to! Okay, stay in one place. Stay. I have to read the next part. Uh, policemen will appear after each kill. They cannot be harmed, but you will take damage from shots. So you're unharmed so far. Physical contact will no, damage the player. Happened. Around the neighborhood, after four victim victims have been slain, Marla appears at a random location. Capture, but do not kill her. Police snipers will start shooting from off screen. Drag Marla into the mini putt castle for the final confrontation. Did I kill Marla? So Marla looks like this with a little thing above her head. Oh, so I think. You killed that person, that person, that person, that person. Yeah. There's only the policeman and Marla left. Gotcha. So she's in a random location, so you have to just so go I find just her. So I just like run into her then, I guess? Yep, you just touch her. Ah, 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 ah. You're in the bottom, bottom corner. corner. Don't go that way. Oh. Random shooting. Ah, yeah. Ah. Snipers. Snipers. Marla, where are you? I need to drag you to the mini putt. Yep. Time to play some mini putt. Oh. Oh. This is relentless. <laughs> I think there's only 16 screens. Yeah. I don't know if she moves or she's just randomly placed in a spot. I she must be. <gasps> oh, no. Bad move. Should have went out of the way. It's very hard to avoid. <laughs> there she is. Get her. Touch her. There. Okay, now take her to the mini putt. Oh, no. You lost her. No. There she was. She was in the mini putt. Oh, maybe she went in. Oh, crap. Lost her. I dropped her at the mini putt. Now she's gone. Where'd she go? Getting hit. Oh, Lord. Getting hit. You're walking right into them. Okay. Or, oh, stop it! Oh, 
No. I think you have to have her to enter in. And yeah. You, and you dropped her somewhere. She well, ran away. Yeah. I saw her run away. Oh, no. She's not in there. No. So. Hmm. That's the oh, Renaissance Fair. Oh, that's the Ren Fair. Oh, that's not the mini pie. So way to the bottom right corner. But I didn't... How did I drop her? Don't know. Maybe she is there. Oh, that's a hole and a flag. Yeah. Maybe she made it there herself. No. no. Well, time to go find her again. <sighs> not that hole. You're in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, so there's nothing down. Yeah. Further down. Back me. Mm. Don't run into bullets. I'm not purposefully, they just <laughs> randomly appear. Those ones appear. were too close, yeah. Maybe it's messed oh. up. Nope, got her. Oh, so, you did bottom. find her. Bottom right corner. Keep going all the way to the right. Oh, you, you lost her. I lost her. Oh my gosh, come on! Apparently you can't touch anything. Or you drop her. Yeah. So don't touch things. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? Running out of health. I found her. There, now don't touch ah, things. I'm not trying to. Go back, Go. where are you going? I don't know, where did I? Up, up. I don't you know. like left the screen and didn't but go I didn't, back. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, you went down and no, she I didn't ran go away. down. I mm. went towards her. Screen di screen dis disagrees with you. I know. It's <laughs> it's just a little it's a little funny. When you have her in your hand, suddenly you sort of appear. You have to anticipate her escape and grab her right away again. Oh, I see. So she 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 does put she up does a fight. She does put up a fight. Okay. Well that kinda makes sense. I'm gonna die very soon. Yes you are. Because <laughs> it's like Snipers are everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Oh, oh. Very cool. The night is coming. Oh, it's going down the screen. Ah! Game over. Oh, cool. Your turn. Here you go. <laughs> I kind of wait in the middle, middle and let her try and try escape. Try to escape. So, oh. so it's kind of predictable that she's going to So every once escape. in a while she escapes. Yeah. That makes sense. I'm like, what? <laughs> I do need you to... Read the instructions after. About where to go? Yeah. So go straight down, and at the bottom, you get your suit, and then you kill the first guy. And then he should appear immediately. There you go. And then... Oh, policeman. Policeman. Yep. Policeman. One, two. And that is... Ah, getting stuck. So is he, at least. Did they you just get disappeared? Them? Yeah, now you have to find them. That. Oh, there he went. Walker, that's Walker. Oh my god. <laughs> See, not so <laughs> easy, is it? <laughs> I think they always run away, so if you are chasing them, don't be on the edge of the screen. Mm. Because they'll just run off the edge. and You have to get them right away. And they do not follow a pattern. They somehow disappear completely. And they don't go to the next screen. <laughs> and they even scream when you find them. Nice touch. Yeah, they do. It's pretty funny. Well, let's methodically go through all the screens then. Two, three, four. One. Well, I can't do much about that. He's already at the edge of the screen. <laughs> Two... You can methodically go, but once they run away, I think they end up random, so... That's true. But I'm still going through all the screens again. <laughs> you get used to them. Only one. One. I've killed one. Mm -hmm. You have to do an order, I guess? <laughs> Nathan Strum says, Have to step off the hype train for dinner. Apparently they have no dining car. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's two. Oh, policeman's back. No, come oh, back oh, here. Oh, get it, get it. Oh, I can't. Truman. He was too close to the edge. That's where you start, right? Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, the two two dark ones are in the up, upper left and upper right corners. Oh, and then they, if you don't there. get... Oh, no, get no, no. 
Do See, I told you, you get right to the edge and you flip screens. So it's when you flip screens, it actually gets rid of them too. Yeah. Uh... So you don't you don't move across the screen when you hit the edge. There's actually a bit of a border around it. You're right. So if you get too close, that's it. You're so done. Yeah. Makes it challenging. Mm -hmm. There you are. And you're gone. Oh. And the problem is you have to stop. You have to stop to and press use your knife. the sword. Yeah. Or else is this the edge of the screen? That's the top right corner. Okay. Yeah. Top right. That's the bottom right. So there's things in all corners. Yes, there is. There's a building in all corners, and then there's the fair in the middle. Not figured out how to have players stick to the walls. Not stick to the walls. What? Stick to the walls? What do you say? Had not figured out how to have players stick to the walls at that point in my life. Okay. So. Had okay. to have them stick, so not to scroll off, I guess. Oh, okay. Looking for people. <laughs> Looking for people. Actually, if you do this, you can cover everything. There oh. you go. That's two? Yes. So if you do that this... Truman. Oh. Go down, up, down. You can cover everything a <gasps> lot faster. I don't know if I got hurt. Well, you always get hurt, I think. So down two. Down. Up. Ugh. Sticky. Up. Down. Done. Good job, Cynthia. Kay. And is she located somewhere? So you got the Professor Walker, Truman, and Cynthia. Points. Okay. So Marla will be random, and then you drag Mar you run into Marla, and then sniper time. Drag them to the bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. The snipers, yeah. Actually, that's that's a nice element to playing the game because um, it does get a lot. Oh, straight down, straight down, straight down. Nope. Mm -hmm. Waiting for her to. Uh... Escape. Escape. Every screen? Oh, right there. Woo! Good job! Oh! Ah, now what? What do kill I do? It. Kill it. Kill the queen. Where do I have to shoot her? There? I don't know. Well, read the instructions. Help your liege lose so pounds with a diet of pointy iron. Avoid her lightning and power orb attacks. Just shoot her. Oh, well, that's coming down. Oh. Oh. oh avoid that! Ren, I can't can you go, go ahead? Up. I can't go up. You just have to avoid. Oh my gosh, that is challenging. I can't go around it, so I have to wait, wait for that to disappear. Yeah. Oh my god. There, there we go. go. I got one of her things away, Careful. I guess. Oh, it's auto fire. That's easier. Oh, I'm getting lots of points. I'm gonna die. <gasps> You, yeah, you have to uh, uh, dodge it at some point. There. Yeah. You are definitely getting hits on. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Challenge. Oh no! <laughs> do you want to get. Do you want to complete it? I would like to. Okay. Close. So Very close. close. But now we know how to get it, so. That was, it, it yeah, that is tough. Yeah. <laughs> but now I know how to survive a little bit longer. Yeah. In that uh, yeah. space, so. So, get the armor. As soon as I come out, there's a guy. I have to kill him immediately. There we go. I did get hurt there. You're not supposed to touch them. No. It is what it is. It does seem to you I've do seem to get more life. life when you when you kill the queen at the end though. So you yeah, you did lose a lot of life. Because I was trying to attack. Yeah, too closely. Yeah. Oh. Terrible. Oh. So oh. <laughs> it's very sensitive flipping screens, unfortunately. It is. So it's a dangerous way to do to search everything like this you're flipping screens a lot but it's a very fast method it is of searching so you can cover ground very quickly <gasps> oh you stayed okay that is their home so oh hmm. okay that's truman truman's house i look like walker though at truman's house anyway oh that's truman 
Three. Oh no! I got stuck. Ugh. I guess they start at their own house and then ah. it, then then it's random. Yeah. Hong Kong Hawk. Is it seven o'clock? Yes. Honk, honk, honk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I have to search for Marla. Marla in a random spot while trying to lose as little life as possible. Good luck to me. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah. Ah. Oh, there you are. Come here. Every screen? Pretty much, unless you're fast. I think it's timed. It looks timed. Very me. good hint of doing, I'm gonna wait, of letting her go. Yeah. All right. So Not I much life your, left, unfortunately. Don't you get your life back? Oh, no, you don't. No. But I know there's auto fire, and I know how to avoid things better this time, so. And I know that comes down. As soon as it comes down one more, now I'm going to completely avoid it. It's just going to smack me eventually. I don't want I, that. Oh, yeah, you can't get ahead of it, can you? Yeah. Go back in, get the next level. Wait for it to drop one. And get the hell out of the way. I think I'm going to be over here. Not much room on the right. No. And that ball does come down exactly where you are. Yeah, so it if does. you, you want have to some dodge room, it. Oof. Oof, that was bad. If you want some room, make sure you're in a spot where you can dodge away from. Oh, got it. Oh boy. This is not good. You're better off on the other side, but oh. Oh, that's not bad. And come in the last Yay! I'm ascending to the heavens. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Now what? You can start over again. What's the instructions say? Not being good. Inside the mini pot castle, uh, uh, avoid lightning and heat seeking power orbs while chipping away at the queen's body. After her heart is exposed, 15 hits will attain victory. After the knight ascends, he is rewarded back a small percentage of life. An extended play begins. After the professor, victims are randomly located and bullets travel faster. Nice. So you... Continue playing. You continue playing. So we'll just go... Play for a little bit? Play for a tiny, tiny bit, just to show... The difference? The difference. Well, you do get some life back, but not all your life bit. back. So it just makes it a lot harder. Neat, though. Very cool game. Very cool concept. Yeah. I like the the RPG elements, um, multiple levels and yep. screens to it, but not overly complex. No, right? no, no. So you can never go in there? No. Can't. I think the only one you can go in gets you your armor. Your armor. And then the mini putt. And then the mini putt, yeah. Okay, very cool. Playing golf with my sword. There we go. Very cool. Yeah. Glad we're able to finish that. Here you go yeah, for the next cool. game. Yay. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that came with, or the packaging of the game. Um, oh, it's a lot of honking. Something else happening today? That's. Oh, you know what? Um, BC went into phase three today. Oh, <laughs> do you think that's it? Well. They're not honking like crazy. Um, so that's all I can think I of. Maybe there's a protest or something. Oh, it could be a protest. Yeah. We're in protest central right here. Mm, mm -mm. That park? That No, but the, we, haven't had, we haven't had protests there. Well, we haven't. No. But... Sometimes okay. there are, but it's not that common. Uh, so this is some of the... Nice. That's Look at the that. manual happening oh not on not focused on it um and there's the i 
think the cartridge graphics. Mm. It's a close up of it. There's the world that we were using to navigate. Nice. Um, it's another part of the manual. That is the motion picture soundtrack. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, guessing that's um, the filmmaker himself holding it up. Joe? Yep. Oh, and that's... Joe or Jason? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe or Jason. Probably Joe, because it's a soundtrack. Yeah. Um, is this misbehaving, or am I at the end? You might be at the end. And there's a the cartridge. Nice. And the gameplay script, which is a very cool concept to present... The, the script. The game as a script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like that concept. Especially when it says, like, interior day and stuff. Mm. No, it's misbehaving. Oh, there's one more. One more thing. You can see the back of it. Signed, 17 out of 20, by Joe. Very cool. Mm. Back to that. Okay. So, one... Oh, the score. Oh, I guess I did get a score. <laughs> I, I rarely pay attention to score in games with, like, levels. Well, it's and more about achieving the goal, it. right? Yeah. yeah. But after it's you true. do win then you try and beat your other score, right? Um, yawning already. Yeah, that's the beer. That always makes me yawn. So the next uh, game movie we're going to be looking at, movie game. Movie game. Uh, is Conjoined okay. by Jason Santucci, Gemin Tronic, and Joe Grisafi, Hamburger Man. First posted about on June 1st, 2016. It's an 8K F8 game. Um, and I've already said other, all the other games that uh, they've worked on. So let me get the graphics going. Yep, you can load it up. Go for it. Um, and the description for the film is 2013. Conjoined when a lonely man finds out the love of his life has a conjoined twin who happens to be a serial killer. He must take drastic measures to keep his love life intact while keeping himself out of big trouble. <laughs> So we've got conjoined. Very nice. Yep. What and a great a, title there's screen. There's a conjoined, conjoined twins. girlfriends. Yeah. Yep. Or girlfriend and um, there's the unhappy twin <laughs> boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and so here's the instructions for this. Thank you. Uh, okay. So there was a Kickstarter for this. So let's take a look at that briefly before we get too far into the game because they'll explain a bit more about the movie and the game and I think it was a very mm. successful Kickstarter as well
has gone silent. Well, that's probably not a very good uh, what thing, happened there thing to use then. Oh, we're we're back. It's it's the it's the um, scene. Just didn't have audio. Oh, I see. Anyway, we were reading what was on the screen, so that's fine. Yeah. Sound is back. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it was the scene. I didn't have the audio. You have to piece together scenes in OBS. So oh. you say, this audio from this, this oh, video from this. Oh, I see. So you had the audio yeah. coming from the, the screen. Yeah. Mm. Um, gameplay synopsis on the box. Stanley fell in love with Alina on a dating website. He promised to marry her before. Oh, it's all here before. if you want to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The label and the cartridges, pictures below, is for the limited edition version only. So we'll get to take a look. There's yeah. the film nice. on DVD. There is the limited version of the cartridge. I love the, the label. That's great. Very, very nice. It's yeah. like a poster, but on a cartridge. Yeah. And there's them together. And there's the pin, oh, which is the graphics. Pin is cute. Graphics from the game. Nice. Which is really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, and you get a certificate at the $60. Um, signed by everybody, even Albert Iruso signed nice. it. So I believe these were produced through Atari Age, some oh, of these games. At excellent. least this one was. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And there is the uh, box for it. Very old school box. And it's got the picture on there. Very nice. And there's the instructions that we have, except ours are printed out. And uh, yeah, has a little background. Uh, Jason Santucci has worked in the IT industry for decades. Positions Jason has held include tech monkey, software tester, and finally indie game developer, which he is now. Mm -hmm. Focusing on using beginner-friendly tools, Jason has created over a dozen games on platforms ranging from Atari 2600, Sega Genesis, and That's PC. That's very cool. And um, yeah, we read that, that out. Yeah. Um, Joe Grisafi wanted to be a video game designer. Um, and his first film was 1995 first short film and his first feature was 98 Very laughing nice. boy and nice. we're playing that uh, next that next yeah yep. good stuff okay so that's a little bit of background on the game and let's get to the actual game now 587 dollars on ebay nice whoa going for a pretty penny there so let's start the game operation the operation. Stanley must grab and bring each ah. surgical item to the operating table individually. Successfully getting all four items ah. to the girls will ah. reveal a victory screen. Is this, what I, this where I start? No. A game story. Stanley fell in love with Alina over the internet. He promised to marry her before learning that she had a secret. She had an angry conjoined twin sister. Imagine proposing to somebody. You haven't really met them in person. Ah. That'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, Stanley must separate the two if his relationship with Alina is to have a chance. Playing the game, you are Stanley. Avoid the broken hearts and daggers that Alisa is throwing at you while collecting hearts that Alina is throwing at you. When you have collected enough hearts, a surgical item will appear. Collect all four surgical items to advance to the operation. Oh, you're getting stabbed. Oh, you can drop down? Without using the ladders? No, you okay. cannot. Oh, okay. You have to use oh. the ladders. Can you wrap around? Looks like you went from the top to the bottom. <gasps> oh, see, if you're not on a ladder, you get screwed. Right. Because so you can't go down and up really quickly. Best so. to stay on the ladder. It is best to stay on the ladder. Um, Cute. So there's broken hearts, there's normal hearts, and there's knives. And there's fast-moving things. Oh, that knife is bouncing back and forth. Oh, but then it changes out oh. once in a while. And you have four hearts to start out with? Four lives? Yeah, it's kind of dangerous jumping in because something bad can come. Oh, and then you freak out. <laughs> um, so the surgical items you need to collect oh. uh, when you get enough hearts. The blade... To start the operation, a thousand points. So you did get that one. Collected the first surgical yep. one. Mm -hmm. um, paper towels to stop the bleeding. A thousand points at the hearts level. Hearts level. Oh, okay. Every thousand? Did you get the next another one? Uh, no, I've only got one so far. Okay. Oh, there's that one. That is an iron used to cauterize the wounds. Ow. A thousand points at the hearts level. No value during operation. 
Where are the hearts? Oh, you're out of luck oh, for... Oh, baddies. You have to avoid them. Oh, the screen's flashing. Maybe that's it. I think I... This doesn't say anything about the screen flashing. Oh. Can There's you press nothing. a button or do anything? There's nothing. Oh, you're screwed. I am screwed. Climb the ladder once the screen blinks. Oh, okay. It does not say that in the instructions. Oops. Like to the top, I guess. Oh, to get to the next screen. Oh, okay, that makes does sense. Does it say that? No, it doesn't. Interesting. Whoa, it was close. That makes sense. Yeah. I go all the way up for great justice. Oh. <laughs> You have to fill the meter at the bottom. There you go. Get that. And go up. There you go. Now we're getting it. So you got two out of four. Yeah, I think I'm going to die soon. Yeah, you have no lives left. Oh, whoa. -ho -ho. Close. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These types of games are really fun. Where... Things to collect, things to avoid, <sighs> and you have cool. to move all over yeah, the place. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Go up! Go up the Go ladder. up! Oh, they're all hearts to begin with. Uh, well, or it's easier it's at the beginning. I think it is. Ah. Yeah, they move fast. Some of the things bounce back, too, which is uh, Slow interesting. Ah. <laughs> so you can, oh, my God. Yeah, so it's you never hard know. to completely avoid them. You never know what's going to... Yeah, oof. but you, you kind of... Oh, move up. Ugh. Get up. I want to get that one. Does it, oh, Does it matter? I don't know. Can you go up? No, only on the ladders. Can you go down? No. At least... Yeah, I got you. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a lot of lives. You can only be points. hit like three times. That is uh, yeah. that's pretty brutal. That's challenging. Oh my god. That's pretty fun. So it's really, it's good to have an escape route. Yeah, you, you need to be on that ladder, really. It's way too hard if you're not on the ladder. Uh, uh, uh. Bottom, there. Uh, dangerous. So dangerous. It's good to be on a slow moving item yeah. level and then kind of wait for a, a good one. Yeah. That's hard. It is hard. Because it can turn into a fast-moving item really quick. And sometimes yeah. something moves fast, and you're like, oh, it's a good heart, but you, you dodge it anyway. I've got three out of the four. One heart left. See, I could have died if that was a fast-moving knife or something. Yeah, it is very hard. Ah. It's hard to not dodge because yeah, it's you're like, thinking, ah, I don't know what it it's is. going fast, run right away. Yeah, especially when it's going fast. Oh, I, I One got, more? I guess. One more. I got all four, didn't I? You probably have to go up one more ladder. I don't know. Wait till you get to the operating table. Oh, my. <laughs> is that even harder? I have no lives left. Know, let's see. <sighs> I'm, I'm very screwed. This one's still moving very slow. Good. The operation Stanley must grab and bring each sur surgical item to the operating table individually. Really? Successfully getting all four items to the girls will reveal a victory screen. Okay. Okay, I'm there. Okay, what do I have to do? Oh, I have, have to, to go get, get the surgical things. items. Okay. And just avoid. There isn't one. The now. baddies. The now baddies what? going back and. Oh, get, I have to go take it to take the... it to the surgery. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, at least there's safe places. Oh my god. Oh, now there isn't. Okay, you I have see. You get around it. I see. Well, it's moving slow for now, at least. I'm going to go this way to save a bit of time. Okay, that one's on. That one wasn't too bad. One more, I guess? Yeah. Oh, they're still moving slow. The iron. It's fine. Yay! Separated! And they're both happy. Because <laughs> one of them was the one that's throwing was knives evil. at me. Yeah. So she actually wanted to be away from her sister? I don't know. I guess she was this serial killer. One's, mm -hmm. one's the baddie. One's the baddie. But why would she be reformed from a serial killer? Because 
It's just because she was attached to her sister that made her crazy and mad, I guess. Oh, she can run away now. Nice! <laughs> Woo! Great sound effects. Yes. Awesome! Yeah. Do you want to try? No, to it's win? okay. No, no, no. no. Okay. I'm good. I, I wanted to see the ending screen, but... Accomplished. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now we move on to the last game. Actually, we're going to sh show um, the all the uh, things mm. that all the things. went with the game for this one from Conjoined, which is not too far from Dead of Night. There we go. So I think that's like end label, I'm guessing. Mm. There's the like label. The, yeah. Very the label. cool. Uh, shots from the film. I assume completely taken from the movie. Yep. So yeah. Uh, the instructions, one page. Nice. Though. The other page. Nice. The box. Lovely. For it. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. The classic box, mm -hmm. 2015. And it's not advancing. Mm -hmm. Or is that it? That yeah, might be. That it. might be it. Mm. Okay. Let me just check, make sure. <laughs> There's more harder level after that. Yeah. I assume oh, no, it repeats it. itself, but uh, Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so the next game we're going to play is the Laughing Boy, mm. which is the work in progress. We're lucky enough to get a work in progress version of this game. It's not completed. I'm not sure if it's still in progress going to be completed or what its uh, status is it was first previewed at the 2015 houston arcade expo nice um made by the same people jason santucci and joe grisafi uh, it's a 16k f6 game and i'll switch to that um and the plot of the film uh, don't load it up yet. Okay. Um, Cody McKenzie thinks nobody has parties anymore. Maybe they do, but he just isn't inv invited to any. However, tonight, Cody and his wife, Judy, are going to, on a, going to a very special party. His reputation precedes him, and once Cody arrives, he trips all over it. From his first bizarre comment to his outrageous exit, Cody alienates almost every guest, disrupts the party, and turns it to chaos. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me get the instructions for this game. Okay, so go for it. Load it up. Oh, got the wrong graphics. Got some nice music happening. Mm -hmm. So, game story. Oh no, Cody McKenzie is trying to crash your house party. You must use your sliding door to keep Cody out while letting the invited guests in. Be careful though, Cody is very tricky. Um, so you have to keep Cody out, let everybody else in. Game control, press the button to start the game, use your joystick to move the sliding door left and right and bounce Cody from the party. Laughing Boy is a one player game. The characters, um, your sliding door, which is a bar. Cody, um, which is blonde way. hair. Yeah, I can see he's got eyebrows. There's the invited guests. You get 50 points for those. And you get 10 to 20 points for bouncing Cody. You lose uh, a life if Cody gets in. You lose a life if a guest gets bounced. Yeah. Right, so you have to make sure. Cody's car appears randomly. When guests come in contact with the car, they panic and run. Uh, nice. Uh, bonus object. Catching the bonus object earns 25 points plus one or a combination of the random effects. Mm reverses Cody's direction, so he may turn around, Chase changes the size of the sliding door, oh. which may be good or bad, or it makes the car appear. Mm. Catching bonus gives very brief invincibility. Mm. Uh, your life meter starts with six lives. Game over when all lives are lost. No bonus life. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Level 1-1. One, one. Oh boy. Did you pick level 11? Uh, oh no. Oh the... no! He missed the bonus, but that's okay. Bonus is bonus. Oh, you <gasps> bounced a guest! Oh no! You're starting on advanced mode. Yeah, oh funny. 
Oh, we are. Okay, let's start over. Start, start it easy. Yeah, let's start it. Start it easy. Yeah, I was on advanced mode. Is that on advanced mode for the other game too then? Oops, maybe not the demo version. No demo in the title, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pro switches, yeah. That's fine. There oh, we go. Is that Level you? Level one. Is that Cody? No, it hasn't started yet. Oh, that's you. Oh, oh. he oh. bounced back uh, on. <gasps> he hit the guest. Oh, it's more than just, they don't yeah. pass through each other. Interesting. Oh, so you have to keep at it. He, <gasps> oh he's, no! He's a persistent guest. Well, oh! But they keep they keep trying, so that's fine. Oh, level two. Hmm. Doesn't say how it advances levels. The <gasps> expert game starts at level eleven. Hints at strategies: You are momentarily invisible at the start of each level, and when you catch a boat, pat, catch a bonus object. The top of the screen flashes for the duration of your invincibility. At later levels, use the bonus object wisely. Oh, come on. He's persistent. Oh, you get enough points. You go to the next level anyway, right? So it's okay. Whoa! Oh, you did a bad thing. I didn't do anything. She ran into me. <laughs> um, additional credits. Title screen music by Sasha Lubinell. Programmed by Jason Santucci. Produced by Joe Grisafi. Very cool. You haven't seen the car yet, though, huh? Yep. The oh, car keeps going by, yep. Oh, I've been reading. Oh, it, propelled, it repelled him. That, yeah, that works uh, cause pretty good. Because I got this thing. Doesn't always, though. No, it depends on... Uh... Oh, oh, he disappeared! Ah! Oh, the car! <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Car forces people down. Game over. Uh... Hmm. My turn. Interesting. Interesting. 1140 for Tanya. Joe be sneaky. Mm. Bonus balls make Joe retreat. <laughs> Check your switches. Here. Cody, Cody. Mm. Great, uh, great music. Especially for the Atari. <laughs> great graphics, too. Very cartoonish. Level one. So you get six lives, but you probably need them, right? That's sneaky. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like a lightning strike at the top. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. I caught her head. Oh, see, uh, they didn't go boing, 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 boing. Get out of here. Probably just better get the ball when they're grouped together. Yeah. Because then, then it'll it send might him just off. repel him. Yeah. Oh, different character on each nice. level. Uh oh. Oh, no. What was I you to get, do? You lose a life if, you, if they bounce. What was I supposed to do with that one? Because there, that might repel it. He back. was on the left of the dude. Yeah. You can try getting the bonus. Oof. Uh, yeah. That would be the only only way, really. But they were first. See that? But I'm getting tons of points, so it's all fine. <gasps> there you go. Eventually, they'll kind of go around. See what am I supposed to do? It's going to repel her. Get this. Get the bonus. Uh, that's your only option true yeah that's what i'm gonna have to do because it does come first but it also reduced my Maybe paddle size it smaller that's better it is actually in this game most games you don't want your paddle size no small. to get small it's all about the paddle size go away and then you have to get out of the way <laughs> sometimes and they'll box you in those those guests oh he's changing direction now Oh, oh my god. Oh. Level four. Good good stuff. I still lost the life. Rita Foot. What's the falling dot? It's a bonus, actually. Yeah. It, it uh. kind of is a power up, I guess, would be the best way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. And it has various different effects. Sometimes it'll reverse Cody, which is the best effect. Mm. Um, um, because then you don't have to deal with the bouncing. The... Yeah. And Cody seems to go through the guests when you get the ball. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, oh! The car stole the person. Oh, changed directions. Um, but didn't affect me. I didn't lose a life for it, though. Mm. So that's fine. Whoa, fast dude now. He's trouble. Very interesting background. With the gradation? Like the stripes are very unusual for yeah. a 20. Like they're, they're kind of... Um, they're kind of flickering. 
giving them a, a really a weird bit. effect. I, yeah. I don't know. On the stream, it looks really, really smooth. Yeah. It's really interesting. Yeah. Because they're doing alternate play field with different colors. Ah, the screen shakes a little bit to blend the colors. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't look good on LCD TVs. No, That's it, it looks really good. Like, it's just very different than what, you know, you're used to. Oh, God. I got to get that ball. I, you have to run away from Yeah. Me. Yeah. It's I didn't know easy. if he was going to come back down. 2740. Not easy. Most persistent unwanted house guest. That is for sure. He may change directions back down when you get that too. Yeah, so. he, he can. No! <gasps> get that. There. Oof. He'll go through the guest when you, when he's got, when you use the ball. Excellent. No lives lost. For now. He has a bit of a, like a... He reminds me of a cartoon character, his face. Yeah. Um, a specific one? A uh, Disney character for some reason. Oh. Very bulbous head. <laughs> it's his nose. Oh. Uh, like just a dot for a nose? Yeah. I think I... Uh, yeah. He's... Yeah. Someone out there knows. A dog character? Yes. Yeah. I, I, oh, you lost the life. And you missed it. Yeah, I'm trying oh. to think. Oh, you haven't lost the life yet. Still, oh. keep at it. Keep at it. Until that thing comes down, get it. Oh, there oh, you go. That worked. Droger Safi says, I have a bulbous head. <laughs> <laughs> Does it always repel him? Where's the instructions? You've hidden the instructions. No, I didn't, I didn't hide anything. Yes, you did. I just put it to the one side. I'm hiding the instructions. Hiding. No, I don't think so. Um, a combination of these random effects. So it may not reverse his direction. But it usually does. Like, it's very good chance it reverses direction. But I guess you can't rely on that. Are these movies available to watch anywhere online? Mm. It's a very good question. Amazon Prime, you were saying, right? Um, I don't know about Amazon <gasps> no. Prime. Amazon. Roku? But that might have been old information. I don't know. Oh, Amazon. Amazon, yeah, yeah, Arena yeah. Foot says Amazon and several other websites. Yeah. Um, possibly on DVD as well? Oh, Arena Foot has them listed in book three and four. Well, that's a go. good time to look at book three. Ugh. And these are very, very handy. Oh. 21.55, so-so. Did so. Uh, I beat you? <gasps> yeah, a little bit. By oh. a little bit. No. Conjoined, page 49. Lots of information about conjoined in here. So, Conjoined was a uh, fe film festival debut in October 2013, released to the public in 2014, and is currently available as of the writing of this book, uh, Amazon Prime Video, and other streaming services. So, whoa, oh, <laughs> just like the cart destroyed both of them all of a sudden. Oh, and Joe Grisafi says, yes, all three hours and Amazon Prime, Conjoined, Dead of Night, Laughing Boy. You can also find them on my YouTube channel. There you go. Excellent. Uh, Rena Foot says he has the um, Dead of Night DVD from Joe. I need to get him to autograph it for mm. me. Yeah, the car did save that one. I think it's, it's good to get a smaller paddle. Yeah, I don't like the bigger paddles. <laughs> I just randomly got a bigger one, too. Mm, like, no, when no. you get the power-ups, it's sort of random. Oh, yay, it's still a run. So, so almost all the effects are not... They're all bonus. They're all good, mm. right? Mm. No, you get bigger paddles, too. Oh, uh, change the size of the sliding paddle. Yeah. Okay. Yep, there's big. That but it did repel him at the same time. Yeah. So I would think most of the time it's it's a good thing to, to get. The smaller one is, is better though. Especially if your paddle's big. 
Uh, no. Oh, 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 good moves. I want to see more games use this color blending with the play field. It's nice. It's really interesting. It's very cool. I bet it would look <gasps> um, incredible for a sunset. To yes. have that kind yep. of shimmering effect. Yep. Or use it for water. Mm -hmm. That would be really good. Sunset or water. Great job, um, Slow Boot. <laughs> it's a funny name to pick. Slow Boot. Oh, you're doing really good this time. Ah, ah, oh, it's ah. center down like You don't say that out loud. You're doing awesome. Not really. The best ever. No. It's unbelievable. I, I, you. Mm. <laughs> Why does he stop? It's funny. No. Oh. 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 oh he, she touched it. Oh. Almost got to my score. Oh. Yeah. Are you going to finish this? Yeah. This def definitely diver deserves to be finished. finished. Well, it looks perfect it looks to me. To me yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else it needs. Yeah. It's got great gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, it's not easy, but it's not hard. Like it's, it takes you're not dead instantly, um, and it's very challenging. And it looks great, plays great. Oh, send him back down. Mm. No, 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 oh, no, no! <sighs> Lost the life already. That's okay, that happens. I lost a life immediately. What? How come I didn't lose a life there? Huh? Hmm, I might have uh, shot out know. a car and Maybe got him. Maybe because it's level one? I don't know. <laughs> it's giving me it's some... Tutorial level? Leniency. Maybe. Oh, we have to try the difficulty switch. What is what is the difficulty switch? Bugs! Difficulty switches! There are two Welcome skill settings, regular and experts. Set both difficulty switches to B for regular. Set either switch to A for expert. And it just starts the game at level 11, which right. is what, when I play. It's played. quite high. Yeah. It's quite oh, fast. Very, very high. Quite fast. What level did you get up to? Oh, I don't know. It's probably very close to what you did. <laughs> yeah. Maybe five or six. Six, I think. Ooh. Oh! He, like, car. rushes, oh, this is rushes the, car the person. Down. Yeah. Oh, the band's playing. Oh, didn't know it wasn't finished. Thought people were talking about it as unfinished, so thought it was the version with demo in the title, but even that was complete. Oh, okay. okay. I believe it is technically finished. Was it released on cartridge? <laughs> I think the last question I had for Jason was about switching from joystick to paddle controls, if that was possible. Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much finished. Yeah, so paddle nice. paddle would be fine. It would change the game quite a bit. Yeah, but, but it's totally it a paddle game. It is. Any kind of thing with two-dimensional movement yeah. is totally, applicable for paddle. Totally doable, yeah. And uh, it, would, it would make it easier, though. Do you think? Yeah, because you can move really fast with paddle, and it's way more precise. Mm. Um, so the difficulty might have to be changed. Oh my god, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny, the tie-in to the movie. Like, it works it. really yeah. well. With an uninvited party guest that yeah. you're trying to keep out. With a sliding glass door. I love yeah. that. Oh, he's fast oh. now. Like, I, I was going to lose a life anyway, so. Uh, oh, I managed to. Repellent? I think, properly. Oh, he's so fast now. The normal guests are fine. They're still normal speed, but yeah. now they're like interfering with each other. Oh, look at that car. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, turn back into him. <laughs> when you hit the bonus, yeah. Oh! Ooh, he's turning around now. <gasps> I, How are you supposed to get him? Like, you're just... You don't. When they're all together, you just might as well not do anything. Because you're mm -hmm. going to lose either way. Because you can't repel them. Oh my god. No! <laughs> I should have moved quickly. I can see how right. having a paddle would you would yeah, right to the side. Because then you could avoid those things. Really quickly, yeah. So maybe it would be really good with a paddle. Wouldn't it be funny if you could earn a weapon and kill Cody? The button's still available. <laughs> There's no button in the game. That that would be a good bonus. Like you could have a the ball character mm. be able to shoot Cody one. Mm -hmm. But that might go against what the game's about. Yeah. Might stray from the source material a bit <laughs> yeah. too much. 
Um, super fun, actually. It's really, really fun. Mm. Where there's risk and reward. That's I like that. what you always need in a game. Like the other one with the ladders. Conjoined. I like that a lot. There's good hearts and there's bad yeah. things. There's and you're just places where you're safe, places where you're not. Grabbing things and avoiding, grabbing and avoiding, and, yeah. and things move really fast. So you have to make that split second decision, which is uh, not easy. <laughs> no. Yeah. So some good, very good gameplay elements mm -hmm. in all of that. So now we're going to move on to um, not a game. <laughs> nope. It is Arena Foot's new book, which is. The full title is the Atari 2600 oh, Homebrew Atari's Companion, Volume 4. Yes. Um, this is the fourth, fifth book that he's released, but fourth in the series. Mm. Um, so this is okay. uh, Volume 1 with Halo. Nice. 2600 on the cover. Nice. Volume 2 with uh, a variety of games nice. on the cover. Yep. Yeah. Pink in the background. In volume three with, uh, um, let's forget the names of the Super Cobra. I think that's Super Cobra mm. um, on the cover. And um, the new book is 182 pages. So let's actually get the, the new book up on the screen so we can take a look at it. Oh, the band's out there today. Yeah, I heard them starting to practice. Nice. Here we go. So, the Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion, Volume 4. It's 182 pages. Um, probably around the same as these. Yeah, this is 170, 180. It's very consistent. Well, it's because he's able to choose how many go in, right? So he can pick mm. exactly how, how long the book is going to be. And he also put out this one, which is quite a bit thicker book. Oh, yeah, that's all the... This is uh, the Atari 2600 uh, Holiday Homebrew Companion. Nice. So if you're... Christmas. Christmas, Christmas themed. Themed games. Um, I don't know if it's all of them. Did he put all of them? It covers 56 homebrews and hacks that are Christmas or winter themed. Nice. I think he tried to put all of them in. Nice. Yeah. So it came in very handy when we do the Christmas shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, because There's a lot of choice. all here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great for that. Um, so this uh, this edition, Volume 4, has a foreword by Joe Grisafi. So that's how it ties in. And it has a uh, write-up called What is a Homebrew by Myself, which appeared in Volume 3 as yes. well. Nice. And nobody complained about it. So, so you put it I in did Volume okay. 4. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, redid it a little bit. Okay. Um, just some of the wording changed yep. it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Edited a little, a few. Just to make it a little there. bit better. Yeah. You know, I was, I, I was pretty happy with it, so I didn't change it um, completely. Yeah. But there it is. Uh, what is a homebrew? So that's in volume four as well, and uh, uh, zero page homebrew is thanked in all of these volumes, which mm. is very very nice. Um. And uh, so, there's a whole bunch of more games in. Uh, homebrew games in the new book and we're going to take a uh, i'm going to read through some of the titles in it uh 2600 tris alien greed 3 cg adventures dead of night which we played today so it's a good write-up of that delta force sniper elevator is an elevator amiss escape it evil magician returns to flappo bird orb porco squares project z qb Road Blaster, Road Duel, Solar Plexus, Star Castle Arcade, Strip Off, Sunset Drive, Sync, and Vault Assault, of which we played, I think, like 90% of those games, of yes. course. Mm -hmm. um, so the paperback is uh, well, $19.03 Canadian. <laughs> We're on the Canadian <laughs> site <worth>. here. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's cheaper than that. In the so US. like $2 American, basically. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's, <laughs> it's free. Oh, that's nice. There you go. We have, we have ordered... Our copy. Yes. Just to let Arena Foot know. So it should come very shortly it, to us so it, we can show it on the show. Hopefully won't take three months like the t-shirts. No, nope. but... it should be ready for next show. Oh, awesome. It should be here okay, for the good. Sunday show. Amazon tends to be a little better than Public. I'm just <laughs> going to throw that out there. Uh, so far, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, That's so excellent. The Atari 2600 is alive and well with new games being released all the time through the power of homebrew. Oh, $13.99 US. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion Volume 4 covers 21 titles 
spanning 15 years. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I have a poll oh. for what Arena Foot should write next. Oh, so, nice. So these, so before the poll, that's why I wanted to do the poll now. Um, these books, the volumes, mm. cover up to 2016, okay. I believe. Um, or 17 or 18? 17. Um, and he's planning to do 18, 19, 20 as separate books. Mm. And they'll be like that the whole year Oh, cool! of the games. Cool. I think possibly split into two because nice. there's yeah. hundreds of games. Really? In the last each, few years? Yeah, past few years. So cool. it's a lot to cover. Mm. Um, so I'm going to put the poll up um, because he's wondering if he should... Oh. Let's just switch back while I figure what the hell is going on here. Um, <laughs> old pages are coming up. Uh, where is my... There it is. So, let's start the poll. Boom! You should be seeing the poll now. So, the options. It says, what should Brian Mathern's Arena Foot next book be? Um, another volume of random games throughout, mm -hmm. the, throughout the years, pre- 2018 mm. or should he concentrate on 2018 volume and and do volume one of that yeah or should he start his vectrex homebrew oh, books nice which i think are really cool yeah yeah i am definitely i've got a bunch of vectrex homebrew up there as well mm. um i'm gonna be a contrarian and um pick three three <laughs> or should he do something completely different and you can suggest it down here mm. um i just want him to to see him branch out into vectrex and it's like oh because there are some books i did a little bit of research there are some books that cover vectrex in general yes and have a couple homebrew oh. but i didn't find any that are like just vectrex homebrew. homebrew yeah and i think that would be really interesting really neat yeah yeah the real answer is whatever inspires yes, him. Yes, very true. Really, like anybody can pick anything, and he could just go, nah. Yeah. Because <laughs> have you ever heard that thing? If you want to make a decision mm. between two things, flip a coin. And before you reveal it, you will to yourself go, I hope it's not blah, usually. Yeah, that's true. And so you can kind of figure it out. Yeah. So even if like one wins, he'll be like... That's not really what I really yeah. wanted. <laughs> <laughs> um, you never played a Vetrex, Jared Gray West. Oh my goodness, it's an amazing console. It's very interesting. It's it very draws different. it. Have you ever seen Star Wars, the arcade game, or Asteroids? I'm sure he's seen them before. In the arcade. Yeah. He's well, never played it. He's never okay. played it. But I'm if you've sure never seen, seen it, yeah. it's like those yeah. games where it's all drawn by lines. It's not pixels. It's yeah. not dots. Um, so... A little you know laser yeah. goes around the screen and draws lines to make up the thing so it's very easy to scale things yeah. and that is the only home system that is made like that yeah and i failed terribly it was out for a year but it's so so awesome. well it's so unique like there's nothing else like it so yeah, yeah it's very cool and yeah. so some a lot of people have made homebrews to fill in those gaps of all those games that were in the arcade yeah. that never got a that home never release. actually ended up on vectrex yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. it's really cool that way, and there's a star. There's one called Starfire, which is Star Wars. Um, that uh, yeah yeah. So I've got all my Vectrex up there. Mm -hmm. So very very cool. Um, and if you don't buy the Vectrex games right away, usually they're just they're gone. gone. Yeah, they're very hard to find. Um, so I'm just gonna go through what a typical listing yeah. of the book would be. Oh, book ordered. Yeah, very excellent. cool. Excellent. From the new book, I don't want to show it off. Like, I don't want to flip through it, so I'll only go directly to well, um, this uh, listing right away. So, one second. Let me get this up. Can I go full screen on this? I bet I can. Almost. View. Control L. Why would they pick Control L? Adobe, Alt Enter, or F. Get your crap together. <laughs> oh, let's do Dead of Night. That's perfect. Ooh, very nice. Um, so let me try and get a bigger. Yep, there we go. Well, why is his thing so small there? 
second second let's make that much bigger there we go okay so this is a typical entry and this is from his new book um, from volume four um, so here's the title uh, when it came out who's involved in it um, a write-up some release notes about it um, a lot of these I went through on the show but this goes m much more in depth he's got uh, screenshots from it a mm. uh, picture of the cartridge the manual some screenshots from the gameplay <laughs> so you kind of know what the variety of things look like um, he's got the map in there that we had um, all the characters and like he's got all the graphics nice. from from the game yeah, so yeah. very 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 uh, yeah. detailed um, all the options that are there oh we didn't play uh, level 11 that's fine <laughs> forgot on that other game um uh laughing boy oh yeah. that's okay no we i did play it briefly oh that's good. <laughs> so so it, it says controls the scoring um extra strategy yes if you're having trouble with nice. it it's even yeah. an easter egg there you go on the second run one of the interiors possible as a life boost if the player needs it by that oh, point Oh, neat. so there's things nice. that aren't even in the manual that yep. uh that he has um and then there's some more pictures as mm. well and analysis so he gives a little rundown this game is an awesome adventure game mm -hmm. where you play as the hero and get to take on the evil queen there's lots of searching and exploring while avoiding the bad guys as best you can which makes it a lot of fun that's mm -hmm. good he didn't give it a bad review <laughs> because the programmer and then the filmmaker are here <laughs> and he even says where you can watch the film nice so really really detailed yes as you can tell yeah um so i i use these uh for research for the show yes now lot, that he's yeah. covered a lot of stuff so for games that go into like older older games because i do i do focus on new ones when they come out but also fill in gaps with with gold games they're super great if i don't have enough information that i can get because he scours the forums and lots of other places as well cat hair everywhere oh my god tari it's like that's one of my jobs <laughs> making cat hair yes so i give these books a big thumbs up they're a great resource and very interesting for finding out games that maybe you want to play there you go so take it from me buy his books you won't regret it there's another endorsement from mr Fix. <laughs> he actually double checked with me and i looked into the code for answers and that's another good point yeah he actually contacts as the, many the of the developers, developers as yeah. possible to get the materials mm -hmm and those hints and easter eggs and and to get their kind of blessing for it as well hmm. some people don't answer <laughs> they disappeared or they're gone or um they've even passed on um because uh there's a de dedication in volume oh, four nice. yeah. as well yeah um to um i've forgotten his name but arena foot can put it in there yeah. I try to keep my personal info out of the book yeah. till the analysis yeah, yeah. no but it's, you want all the info yeah yeah it's nice to give a little bit of opinion yeah. once in a while yeah um so that is the show i think um so let's go through the games Con yes. um well we did we a little first? bit out of order for that we did yeah. dead of night first because uh, i i realized after the release dates were different than what i put oh them what on. you put on it i so see, i did I dead see. of night which was a fun rpg um mm. it definitely needed instructions which were that's good they were in there like the plot of the film mm. were in the instructions mm -hmm. um it's challenging not like completely easy no I mean, did i beat it on the second round no it's not but third. we both played a few we did uh, we played it a few times yeah, yeah. zph drinking game yeah every time a cat shows up post post the icon <laughs> and take a shot that's uh <laughs> or take game. a drink i wouldn't say take a shot that would that would yeah that's yeah. not a good idea let's <laughs> post a kitty oh two of them only need one it's only one cat yeah there we go Looks like Tari wants it. Oh, he always wants attention. Yeah, he he's, loves attention. He's like, Can I come here and purr and shed shed cat hair? Yes. Then we played Conjoined, which was very challenging. Oh, I like Conjoined. I actually yeah. like that kind of gameplay where things are moving really quickly. It's yeah. the, my favorite Atari games. I think have very fast play where you're sort of dodging. Yeah. I enjoy those games a lot. So. Very challenging. Yeah, great. There's a lot of deadly obstacles in that. Easy to yeah. lose lives um and laughing boy very unique concept usually with those types oh. of pong Paddly breakout kind of arkanoid games, games yeah, yeah. you're not 
letting things through. I can't think of one where you let things through on purpose. They're always bouncing back. Yeah. So that put a spin on it. Yeah. And yeah, that's neat. Huge kudos for that crazy flickery multicolor yeah. thing at the top. Yeah. Really, I like that. really cool. Yeah. And I I hope to see that in other games. Yeah. Um, and the Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew Companion yes. Volume Four. Can't wait to Very get it. Cool. Add it to my stack of Brian Mathern books here. Yep. Yep. Um, they're really great, and it's awesome that there's um, books entirely dedicated to yes. homebrew. And 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 a few. <laughs> and a few, and they're quite covering, a few. <laughs> covering quite a bit. And what's our poll at? Uh, volume five. They just want pe him to keep going on yep. the old games. Keep going. Well, that's cool. And then in second place, Vectrex. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, in third place, uh, 2018 Volume One, mm. and then other. I would call the poll a tie. It's, it's fairly, pretty close. It's very it's close. It's pretty close, yeah. Yeah. So on Sunday, we have an extremely special show. It's a first in a series of what I hope to do more of. Mm. It's a spotlight mm. on Thomas Yanch. Yeah. Um, and he's going to have a live video interview nice. here. Yeah. And we're going to be going through his games. Um, we've had developers on the show before. Mm. It's usually about one game. Mm. And this is kind of a spotlight we're going to run through. He has a lot of games, so it's going to be rapid fire. <laughs> but we're just going to, you know, go through the games and talk with him. Um, so it should be a lot of a lot of fun. And I hope to do more of them with, uh, you know, Daryl Spice Jr. and um, Dan Dan Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking with him today and oh, nice. um, yeah. getting some updates. So we're looking nice. forward to his debut of Gold Rush, and we'll probably do it then. We'll have to de delve into older games like pre homebrew games because yeah. this is his first homebrew game that he's made all the other ones were for like activision and stuff um so i hope to do that with a bunch of people um john shampoo as well mm -hmm. and uh, some other more uh prolific people mm -hmm. that have done a bunch of games it'll be a lot of fun yeah um hope that goes well hoping to watch on sunday Excellent. this is a great idea i uh. i thought it'd be a fun idea to do too yeah and um, yeah, and get the actual person here. Yeah, who makes the makes the games? Thrust Plus, one of my earliest homebrew purchases. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I get to go get all the boxes down yeah. too, <laughs> put them on display yeah. and show dust them. Dust them off. Yeah, you know. there's probably a bit of dust oh, up there. I think there is actually. Gotta yep. do some. Ooh, uh, gotta make sure I'm here Sunday, Mister Fix. You do. <laughs> um, and so that'll lead up to his Robot City um, release, which nice. is going to be next month. Next Maybe. month. Maybe. Good. Depends if everything goes smooth at Atari Age. There's going to be a whole stack of new of homebrew. new games. Yeah, that's it's going to be, be fun. Jaguar games, Lynx games, I think. Definitely tons of 2600. I don't know about 7800 or 5200 games, but tons of 2600. My wallet's going to be empty. <laughs> yep. <sighs> yep. <laughs> and then the show after that, uh, we're going to be playing Local Hero 2, an exclusive world uh, work in progress premiere i added that to the work in progress games and somebody said that hasn't been released i'm like oh yeah i guess i should play that in the show soon um uh robot tag which is brand new prince of uh, indiana which is brand new as well nice so that will be lots of fun brand yep. new games out there that's awesome yeah three brand new games yeah um next uh next not cool. next show but the show after yeah and the schedule might be changing keep your eyes open mm. we'll see what it may be changing too Wizard of War for my Atari box. Yes, if, you, if you've mm. got the new Atari box, the old one glitchy, so make sure you have the new one. Um, otherwise, it conks out sometimes. Um, that's it. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, D-Train 37, uh, Slowboo, thank you for making all yes. those amazing games. Yep, Joe's, Joe's in there, too. Somewhere. Chatting. Yep. Yep. Joe, thank you for tuning in yep. and, put on, and giving us information yes. and answering questions. Yep. Jared Gray West, uh, Carl G, Mr. Fix, I supposed to. Hey, I supposed to. D-Train's in there. Uh, Captain, Captain Classic. Classic, Mr. Fix, Arena Foot, of course, for having this idea for this fun show it's a little bit different mm. um playing all the games from one person one and person yeah focusing on movie tie-ins tie which is very cool. unusual yes. and we can't ever do it again because there aren't any more <laughs> that's it except one more um but movie it's made by the same person <laughs> uh esther mirrors 2008 uh joe grisafi of yes. course danny 
Keep Danny BC. Kev Kelly's in there. Uh, yeah, Kev Kelly. Azure. Jupiter, Jupiter Azure's Storm 17. Nice. Azure 6502. Yeah. Phil. Yeah. Packrat VG. Cafe Man 2D. Uh, Lots of people there today. Paul Mapbot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Metal Atari. Yep. Oh, Metal Atari. Yeah. Any other people? Just there? jumped up. Yeah. Pack Rat VG. You mentioned. I think we've probably think covered. Got, yeah. Everybody. That's the end of the scroll back. Yeah. So thanks everybody yes. for making the show. Lots of fun. Yes. And we will see you at uh, so Sunday, 11 a.m. Pacific time, mm. 2 p.m. Eastern time, whatever time in Europe. It's like. 7 p.m. I think it's 11 plus eight hours. Mm. Uh, no, six because it changes because they don't have daylight savings time. I don't Europe. know, it depends so on it, where you it varies by an hour yeah. every time you do that. Um, that's true. So I think it's 6 p.m. But check, check your local listings. Um, and uh, we will see you then. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody, so much. See yeah. you next time. Yeah, bye bye. bye.